These are bottlenose dolphins. They're the estuary bottlenose dolphins. They're six to eight feet in length, very pale in color compared to the offshore dolphins or the oceanic dolphins, which are very dark in color. Estuary dolphins also have bigger flippers than the ones out in the ocean, so they can move maneuver in and out of these little creeks and marshy areas and so forth. We live in a very unique area here in Georgia's lower South Carolina. We're in what's known as the South Atlantic Bight. It's a very shallow area and it's like a curve on the coast and that creates a very unique environment here as far as tides go. We have the highest tide south of Cape Cod here. This creates a unique feeding strategy for the dolphins that live here. Strand feeding, or as it's called here in Georgia, mudding, is a feeding strategy of the residential estuarine dolphins. An hour before to an hour after low tide, the dolphins will see a school of fish. They'll communicate with each other, fan out and create a wave that pushes the fish up onto the mud. The dolphins slide up on their right side, grab the fish in their mouth, and slide back in the water. These dolphins, as I said, only go up on their right side, and that's because they've evolved to do this in their environment. Typically, if a dolphin's up on hard surface, their body weight can crush their internal organs. So these dolphins have evolved to have their esophagus to the left, so that when they're on their right side, they can swallow a fish. Dolphins offshore can't do this because they don't have that unique trait about them in their throat. Dolphins are the sentinel species of their environment. So if there's something going wrong with the dolphins, then there's something that could be going wrong for us too, because we share their environment. We're in the same water, we eat the same food they eat. So we need to protect them and keep track of them, make sure that they stay healthy. Dolphins are just the most amazing creatures. They're intelligent. They're clever, they're inventive. I mean, it's an amazing animal and it needs to be protected and preserved in its natural environment. There's so many different species of wildlife that depend on the marsh and the estuaries and it needs to be protected forever. And, you, know, you just can't have oil wells and pipelines and stuff messing it up. It's a viable, nutrient-rich environment that supports the fisheries and wildlife in the Atlantic Ocean.